Let's look at the first three psukim of Torah and how different it is when you understand it al pichsidis. And from just those first three psukim, you'll see how different it is al pichsidis. Then you'll be able to extrapolate how much different everything else becomes. So he says like Bereishis bara lekim eisay shemayi vesaaretz vaaretz haisa sayu vavayu vechayshech apnei atahayim veruach lekim marchefus apnei amai v'yemer lekim hi ayr vai hi ayr. First three psukim. Okay. So he says like this. Bereish is bar alakim. In the beginning, Hashem created two ways that a person can live. Esa shamai, a spiritual life. The Esa aretz, materialistic life. It's talking about a person. It's talking about your life. And the person has to choose what kind of life he wants to have. So continue and read. The Ha'aretz. He chooses a materialistic life. Obviously, that's the easiest. And consequently, he chose a materialistic life and he gets the consequences of that decision. It's meaningless. It's empty. So he says, you know what? This isn't working. Uh, let me get out of here. But it's dark. You can't get out. And where is he now? Dread. Deep in the depths. And what's with his nefesh alakis, veruach alakim, marachafes apnei amayim, just floating out over the water. He made a bad choice, and now he's stuck. He doesn't know how to get out of it. And we only have one more pasuk left to end the story in a, <laughs> with a nice Hollywood ending. The last pasuk. So he says like this. Person says. Elakim. Elakim is not how Elakim said. Elakim akazok. Elakim. The person says Elakim. God. Yehi And immediately, there is light, for him. And for the world around him. So it says in Akriva Kedusha, from those first three psukim, you could extrapolate how different all of Taita will be when you learn it in the light of Nimiya Satayra.